Hi, I'm Polita, and I'm going to show you how you can build Cordova apps for Windows 10 today. I'll start out with why Cordova is a great choice for mobile development, show you how you can use Cordova to build an app for Windows 10, talk about our next steps, and then share some places to learn more. More and more, apps dominate the mobile experience because they allow users to get the best experience on their mobile device. But building native apps for iOS, Android, and Windows can be time-consuming and expensive. Using Apache Cordova, you can build apps for mobile platforms more quickly. Apache Cordova is an open source framework that allows developers to build mobile applications that target iOS, Android, and Windows with a single HTML code base across all platforms. It uses a hosted web view to load your JavaScript app. To target the special capabilities of the mobile device, such as the camera or the accelerometer, Plugins abstract the platform differences and provide app developers a JavaScript API that's common across the platform. I'm going to talk primarily about how you can target the new Windows 10 platform from a Cordova app in this video. I'll do so using a mix of Visual Studio and the Cordova command line. Until the final versions of Windows 10 and Visual Studio 2015 are released, Cordova developers will use the command line for a few commands. After release, Visual Studio will have full support for Windows 10, and developers won't have to leave the Visual Studio environment to target Windows 10. Let's get started. I'm going to use Visual Studio to create a very simple location app using my device's GPS location. I'm going to use File New to create a new project for Apache Cordova and use the blank app, app template. And Visual Studio has created for me a Cordova application with all of my code in the www folder. I'm going to use Angular to create this application. So now I'm going to add the Angular library to my application. I like using NPM, so I'm going to use the NPM installer to add, that, to add NPM to my application. Now I'll have Angular as part of my application right in the Node Modules folder. And you can see it there. Now let's take advantage of it. Back in Visual Studio, I'll open up the index.html file, and the first thing we need to do is add a script reference to the HTML file. Now we can actually reference Angular. I'll add a little bit of HTML that will show off the, the location on our app. I'm going to copy out some HTML. And this HTML uses a very simple Angular controller that shows a button, and when I click the button, it shows my location. I'm going to write the code now that makes this work. The first thing I need to do is pass in the Angular object. And then use it within my function. Now that I have the Angular object, I can write a little bit of code that creates an Angular module. And that module will use the Cordova plugin for geolocation to get the current position and then return that back out to the HTML. Speaking of that Cordova plugin, let's go ahead and add that Windows, that Cordova plugin to the application. In the config.xml designer, the plugins tab shows me all of the core plugins. I can add any of these to my app, but I'm using geolocation, so I'll add the geolocation plugin. Now that my app has the geolocation plugin added, I can run my application using the command line. The first thing I need to do before I run it, though, is add the Windows 10 Cordova platform to my app.
I'm using a local path because I've Git cloned the Windows 10 platform onto my machine to this local path. Now I have the Windows 10 platform added to my app and using Cordova Run Windows, I can run the application on my machine. This will build the application for me, deploy it, and install it directly on my machine. It will run like any other application on Windows 10. Here you see it's come up. I can resize it like any other app. And when I click Find My Location, Windows asks me if I'm going to give this app permission to use my geolocation device. I can say yes, and now I get my geolocation coordinates. Because this is a Windows 10 uh, UAP application, I can also deploy it to another device. I'm going to try deploying it to my phone. On my Windows 10 phone, merely calling Cordova Run Windows phone device, I can deploy the very same application to my Windows 10 phone. And here's my app running on my Windows 10 phone. For the next few months, developers can use the command line to add the Windows platform as we just saw. When Windows 10 Visual Studio and the new Windows 10 Cordova platform release, you will be able to do all the things I did today from within the Visual Studio environment. If you are a Cordova community member, we are seeking feedback on the Windows 10 platform implementation on the Apache site. Please share your feedback and help make it better. The Windows Cordova platform, including Windows 10 support, is documented on the Apache Cordova website. You can find how-tos on Cordova and Windows development in Visual Studio on the Visual Studio Cordova site and the Visual Studio blog. And Windows Dev Center is your best resource for Windows app development and deployment. Thank you.